Hello, 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 fans, friends, followers, thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. I might do a periodic uh, beer project update. Uh, this will be a part two to the previous video I've done showing progress of my beer project. So uh, basically, once again, you can manage multiple projects in one. And uh, I, I'm going to show here. Currently working on, as you can see, Midway and Minotaur. So Midway has got, um, I don't know, Midway, <laughs> Midway, it's Midway on the Midway. Uh, I'm on the fourth project or the fourth segment, but once that completes, I'll be in the fifth one. And the fifth one is an easy one. Uh, you go in, win one battle with Ranger, and then you move on to the sixth one. So these uh, limited access ones, they're actually easier as long as you have the ship in advance. As long as you have the ship in advance, you progress faster than a normal uh, project that doesn't have these. The delay with these limited access ones are whether or not you have that ship. If you don't have the ship, if I didn't have the Ranger, I'd have to get the Ranger first, which isn't hard to get. But I'd have to get this Ranger because you have to have this one to win. And when, when you don't have it, it says the segment does not have a base research bonus. Complete daily trial is as to progress so the daily trial mentioned is to win with ranger so you win one time you move on you don't have ranger you cannot get past this point until you get the ranger so that's why these are a little bit harder to come by for some people but if you already have the ship then then you're good to go uh i have ranger uh, as you all know you should know i love carriers uh i browse the rest of this this is a tier 7 requirement carrier only tier 7 and I've got uh, Lexington and Saipan and you all know I completed the Saipan project so that's that's a good one there uh, anyway just show you that, that I'm midway progress on the midway the other one I'm working on currently and uh, again I'm managing six at a time and I'll show all six here shortly but the other one I'm working on is Minotaur and I'm also midway here um, I'm a few segments further along this is well three four five six i'm on segment six uh but still chapter five i think it is or stage five of segment six uh, and this would just be an easy one so i uh, just showing these uh, i should have showed the, the trial but uh, i need icarus trento and tier six and once i finish those i get a couple hundred points closer but i don't think it'll be enough actually if you look down you look down at the bottom it does show stage progress is a 1.1 million 1.177 million and counting and so when i get to 1700 million points on this one it'll complete this project so when you calculate that i'm currently running three from base research plus eight from the two commanders selected plus six per second all that is seconds uh three six and eight so three and six is nine nine and eight is 17 seconds so 17 points per second uh, you calculate that to a potential hourly so 60 seconds so seven 17 points times 60 seconds would be uh you do the math i'm not doing it <laughs> anyway um Plus you add an extra 300 points in any one trial. So those trials I mentioned. Uh, so I got Icarus, Trento, and Tier 6. So any one of those wins will give me uh, 100 more points. 100,000 points. So that's where the extra 300,000 there is listed. So that will get me closer. So if I'm shy, fuzzy math says I'm shy 600,000. Actually, it's less than that. It's 500, maybe 20, 520,000, give or take, and counting, counting downwards. Uh, so if I do 300 from that, it would jump that 8 hour, 30 minutes until completion down to about 2 hours. So we'll see what that looks like here in a moment once I do these three trials for this one. And then what I try to do is I remember that's Icarus, Trento, and Tier 6. And then I'll go back and I'll look at the Midway just to refresh my memory. And I know it's Ranger. And so the same thing here is 3, 6, and 6. So the other one was 8. 
I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm not going to look at it right now, but 6 is 6, this is 12, so 3 is 15. So 15 points per second, so only, only 2 points shy of the other one being 17. But 15 points per second in 60 second, or 60 minutes. Um, you figure that out if you want. Uh, again, that, that's up to you. I'm not going to do the math on that. I might do the math later on, put it on the screen as I'm talking, maybe. If it's on screen by now, you've already seen it. If not, you know I got lazy. <laughs> uh, so again, for the trials for um, Midway, I need Ranger, Vistaris, Rasteris, and Tier 6. And as you all know, I've been actually, one of the projects I'll show you is I've been working on Holland. Um, about Midway or beyond on Holland. And uh, to get Holland, I had to work the... Uh, uh, destroyer uh, and cruisers for the new Pan-Asian uh, fleet. So I've got Vistaris, I've also got Skane, and I've also got Ostrogoth, plus I bought Orkin in the process. Orkin was, eh, I don't even know if I did a, I can't remember if I did a maiden voyage of Orkin. But anyway, so as you can tell, there's tier 6 on trials for Midway, and there's also tier six as a trial for um, Minotaur. And if you're wondering, and yes, I'm going to clarify for you, and I will show you when it happens. If you do any one tier six while two different selections are made, then you'll get credit for both selections at the same time. So one battle can equal 200 points. In fact, I've mentioned before, one battle can equal 300 points. Uh, there have been times where I've gotten 325 points because some ships I've had were premium and sometimes premium ships will give you more points than regular ships. So without further ado, I'll go rush through these real quick. I'm going to speed through them. Uh, I just run them on AI and then uh, I will come back and I will talk about the next uh, step of the beer project. So before I do continue with the battles, when I come through here and I'm trying to remember and uh, I know the ships are offhand, but I know it's Ranger, a tier six, so there's Kid. Or if I wanted, I could do other tier sixes I have selected as my favorites Collingwood and Nelson. I've been grinding Nelson and Collingwood for um, the Guns of Guns of Glory, but I'm not going to do those right now because I'm just going to keep this on AI. Um, so what was it? So. Looking at the right, you can see what, what uh, projects you're working on. It shows you the Minotaur Midway underneath my name. So I know Ranger. So looking at that, I know Ranger. And Vastaris is one of them. And then Minotaur has uh, Icarus. And let's see if I can recall without having to backtrack. Icarus and Trento. Icarus and Trento way over here. Trento, Trento right there so I try to look through these before going into the first battle and then I start with the one on the very far left of all my favorites so the first one I'm gonna do is Ranger then Kid and I'll work my way right doing each ship that is required for the current two projects so I, I will fast forward through these uh, you'll see these in fast mode because they're all AI it's not gonna be that much of a challenge and uh, we'll talk about them afterwards All right, so as this battle goes on, this is at 4x speed, so I am doing a post-edit uh, voiceover recording at the moment. Figured I could use these little gaps uh, when I'm fast-forwarding through the battles to at least do some more explanation in between. Uh, there will be a total of, I think, I have 12 battles on this video, but they will all be short. Um, two minutes. I think this one actually will be the longest. Two minutes, 19 seconds. Uh, there's a few around 100 seconds and then everything less than that and they're all at 4x speed so uh, Just give me a little bit chance to fill in but uh, as you go through and you do all these um, Most of the time you're gonna win if you're playing against AI and that's usually my goal uh, I set these up um, prior and then you just go through and whatever you do with the stacks you set them up and I'm not going to really talk about any particular battle. Um, it's going too fast. It's more or less just for the video itself. A lot of times you'll think you've got kills and then uh, they disappear and there's not much left to do. So 
till the next gap. Actually, no, I think there's one more. It's gotta try to, I'm gonna try to get. Um, what else was I going to say? After you do each of the battles, you have to go through and you have to change it out. So that's why I, I'm only managing six, and that's why I mentioned in the video, or I will mention in the video, that uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult if you're managing more than six. If you're trying to do all 15 or whatever it is, how many battles, how many brew projects there are, then it's going to take more effort. So I think six is a good round number. So till next video, next short clip here in a moment. Couple takes on that. As a carrier player, uh, often finding myself in these AI battles, uh, it's hard to get kills because everybody's easy to kill or your team is doing very effective. Uh, most of the computer is easy to kill. At the same time, there have been times I have been known to get completely gang raped by the uh, red team obviously the enemy team uh, if they know how to coordinate and break through on one side sometimes it's happened with the AI and uh, so a lot of times I'm worried about my position as carrier despite uh, it's supposed to be an easy battle but as you can see I've accomplished a lot just couldn't get the kill so uh, with that accidentally jumped forward there uh, in my edit and I realized that after the recording was done was already established and I didn't want to go back and fix it so uh, normally it's an easier transition but some, for some reason I cut off like three extra seconds or whatever but um, just continuing on you will see a few battles that will repeat themselves this kid for example I think you'll see kid three times so um, don't think that I'm repeating the same clip. I actually at one point thought I was repeating the same clip. I made sure it wasn't. Um, there are different battles, just the same ship. Only because I can use Kid multiple times for various Tier 6 uh, trials. So it's all about trying to stack as many trials as you can or as many accomplishments. Those are usually easy enough to destroy or win. That only took me maybe 2-3 minutes tops. As I was saying, I didn't realize I was cut so short. Uh, you try to uh, stack as many ships within as few trials as possible. So, for instance, when you do a tier 6 and you got two different trials for tier 6, you get bonus for both of them. If you have more than two trials requiring tier 6, then uh, it's going to take you more effort. To, uh, you have to go back and redo the same tier 6. And that's why you'll see me on Kid a few times. Um... Icarus is another one that uh, Icarus doesn't get repeated. I think it's only just one needed. Bayern, I think, would get repeated later. Uh, I think there'll be two on Bayern. Um, later this step with the first pair of trials, you'll see uh, my favorite ship, Johan. And I talk about that shortly. But that's probably the best battle out of this whole video that you'll see. I mean, it'll still be in fast mode. Um... Again, you just do the best you can, and uh, a lot of times I'm more aggressive, as you can see. Uh, I often do more aggressive moves when I'm playing AI. Usually you can get away with it, and I kind of use it as a training. Kind of try to improve my skills. Till next. Again, easy enough kill. That was Icar Icarus for... Minotaur project that I've got going. Moving on to. Sometimes I gotta look back and think what I'm doing. So, Midway, done Ranger already. Minotaur, I've done Icarus already. So, now I need Vastaras and Trento. And I've already done the tier 6 with Kid. See how easy it is. I needed five battles I've got three out of the way so here's Trento and then Vastras is two down from this so uh, these done here shortly and uh, just for the record I know the last um, this will take place after the other video I did on the Bureau of Projects which was actually recorded about two months ago mid-May this is now late June 
So I'll probably get both of these out w within the next week. I know I, I kind of got late on the uh, previous one, but I'm still going to post that one. But this will be about almost two months after the last one, but it will be posted about a week after. Uh, I'm currently working on Ostrogoth's um, maiden voyage that was done um, that was done about a month ago, about the same time as the previous video of the Beaver Project. So I'm going to try to get all three of those out within the next couple of weeks. On to the battle now. There wasn't much of a delay there, but I'm going to fast forward to this. So just to clarify, I did mention at the beginning of the video uh, using the screen only uh, on text because I was talking. So I, w didn't I decided not to interrupt myself during that. But this is the only battle, the only video on the Beaver Project so far. I know I keep mentioning it, uh, but at the time I was recording this with the voiceover and all that, uh, I didn't know that I was going to end up deleting the other one. But the other one did get deleted. Um, I ended up deciding not to use the other video and remade this one. So um, you won't see the other video. Uh, so ignore everything I mentioned about a previous video about the beer project. Anyway, um, with that out of the way, this will actually be done here in a moment. So continue next video. Again, easy kill. Uh, notice how fast it is just to just to waste right through these versus AI. Uh, this is why I play the AI when I'm doing trials. Most of the time I play AI. There have been a couple times where I have played standard and I was hoping for more experience and more silver. I've usually come to the, to the routine where I'll play my, I'll start off in standard, uh, whatever trials I'm doing for the each pair, I'll do in standard until I lose two battles. Once I lose two battles, I go to AI and I finish all the battles, the ones I've lost and then those that I need to still win in, in AI instead. Um, sometimes I get some good wins on standard, uh, but not often enough. So um, this will conclude. The, this battle will conclude the trials, and then I'll talk about more about the boo here in a moment. To clarify, this will conclude the trials for the first two pair, the first two um, uh, sec, sec, uh, ships that I'm researching. Uh, and then I'll show you as far as maneuvering and all it is just showing you overall how long it takes to go through all the battles and do all the uh, maneuvering and navigating setting up each of the trials so most of this is pretty easy to figure out uh, I didn't learn this until I saw somebody else on YouTube playing warships uh, talk about it and I can't remember who it was if I did uh, I would give them credit this was not technically my idea uh, I did not figure this out on my own uh, somebody else, so like I said, somebody else did s the same thing I'm doing uh, on YouTube. And uh, I started to experiment once I saw the idea. And uh, it's definitely an uh, effective way to get through the Bureau Project uh, a lot easier. Um, but as I was saying, um, I'm trying to think. As I was saying, it takes a lot to go through and set each map. So the more you add to it, the longer it takes, the more you stack. So it can get more difficult the more you progress. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? Till the next. I was referring to here, I thought I had that, but I'm looking at the mountain now. I could see the mountain actually had a different angle. So that's what I'll refer to here in a moment. Well, that sucked. Couldn't land any of my torpedoes. Um. Vestris, like Ostgot and other um, Pan Asian, uh, not Pan Asian, Euro, Pan Euro uh, <laughs> destroyers, have long-range torpedoes. Uh, 
That's one reason why I'm going for the Holland. I'll have 15 kilometer torpedoes with Holland. Ostrogod, I believe, has 12. Uh, Skane, I think, had 10, if I recall. And this Vastaras, I believe, has 8. So they're above average for their tier um, and their class torpedoes. But um, usually I'm pretty good at aiming them. I'm getting pretty good at aiming ahead or aiming behind, depending on where they're going to change direction and whatnot. For whatever reason, that uh, bear happened to get out of angle or something. I don't know. Like I was saying, the mountain um, was shaped. I know the one towards the end, there was two salvos I dropped. And the first one was right on. And he was going straight alongside the mountain. There was not really any place he could have gone. But I don't know. I couldn't see his position. So I couldn't see his position relative to the mountain. I wasn't focusing on all the details trying to I try to pay attention to as much detail as I can but it moves and happens so fast that uh, you can't really see everything at once but uh, anyway it is what it is the team won that's all that matters to me on these trials so I'm going to go back now to the brew projects and quickly go over them I know the previous video that I did I believe I only did two I showed you the whole process of two and then I just showed you the view project itself but no more trials again I didn't do one today I'm gonna to actually try to show you all um, six projects trials so playtime this will be up to two hours uh, I'm gonna have it shut down or cut down to at least probably under an hour at least um, uh, quickly run through about an hour and 20 minutes so you see the you check marks I can't select the trials those are all done and then I go over and I'll show you Minotaur. And the check marks are all checked. They're all done. So knowing that those are complete, I'm now going to back out. I'm going to select the next two. And yes, this will replace the current. But before I select these, I want to, I want to show you. So I went over earlier. I explained that there is... Uh, 15 points here and 17 points per hour or 17 points per second uh, for the other project so it's um, 30 32 if I did my math right 32 points per second between these two projects plus the 300 I gained so if you counting None of the other projects are currently doing any of this. And now when I change products, I'm going to lose the 32 per second that I'm gaining here. But I'm going to put those 32 per second somewhere else on the other two trials, in the next two trials. And then at the same time, I'm going to gain another 300 uh, per trial for the three trials. I mean, per project for the three trials each. So... Some people might say by switching them out, you're losing progress when you're actually gaining more progress overall. So in the end, when I complete these two, whatever two it is, and I don't know which two is furthest along, but if I go and look, I believe Holland, and I think I'll do Holland and Schleifen next. I believe Holland's the furthest along and possibly Alaska. But I switch up the pairs depending on how the trials stack according to what. Like, I believe there's a couple trials here shortly, you'll see, that are running Bayern. So I try to stack them when there's similar ships that can stack for trials. Although you cannot stack them for the ship's research, and you cannot stack commanders for the commander's research. But the trials, you can stack them for... Uh, completing multiple trials in one as I've showed before uh, but the reason so what I'm trying to explain is yes I cancel out and slow down the progress I'm currently making on Midway and Minotaur by changing in Holland and Schleifen so I'll go ahead and do that right now and then I'll continue oh what did I hit the wrong button I seem to be doing that a lot And it really doesn't matter which one goes in which. Oops. 
You should try to do the left one on the left and then the right one on the right, but it don't matter. It don't matter how they how they fall. I just barely recently got Kansas, and I actually recorded a Kansas ma maiden, so I'll have that out hopefully soon. But I don't. I'm, I need to get the Ostrogot. Uh, as you can see, I've got the Ostrogot here, but I need to get the Ostrogot maiden out first. So Kansas Kansas might be a week or so out before I get that recorded. But just so you know, at the time frame I recorded that late June. It was a couple days ago I got that opened. Oh wait, let's go ahead and double check. So that is three, eight, and six. Three and six is nine. So eight and nine is seventeen points there, and then on another three hundred. So that math is the same, but as we saw previously, it's not always the same. So it's always good to check if you're actually trying to compare time wise. Oh, I came in, I was going to set it up, and I didn't actually select it. I don't like to select it from within the project. You can, but it often throws you back to the first segment, where if you back out all the way to the selection of the project, like I am right now, and then activate it from here, when you go in, it will go directly to the segment that you're working on. See, right there, directly. Now, if I would have activated it from within the project, it would have dropped me all the way back over here. Not that it matters, uh, but it, it is an extra button or two to navigate. So uh, if you're that stingy on um, trying to reduce the time for whatever reason. I'm only managing six, but you can do this with all, however many there are. I think there's 12 or 15 or something like that. You can manage all 12 or 15, but keep in mind it's going to take you that much longer to navigate and set up each project when, when you change each one out. So uh, this is also 17. So to finish explaining now, I've redirected the 17 points that I was putting in Midway and Minotaur. So that slows the progress down for those two while keeping the progress with this one at pace with those two. So it's not like either one's going to finish anytime sooner than the other. However, now I'm able to get an extra 300 points more of research that I would not have gotten if I would have just stayed on Maiden and Minotaur. And, and I finished the Maiden Minotaur trials, got 300 points boosted, and then I wait 24 hours, come back in and do Maiden and, and Minotaur again for another 300 points at 17 points per second plus the 300 per day so you go figure if all you do is just that two overall you're only gaining uh i'm not gonna do the math right now if, if i think about it later i'll pop it up on screen as, as i talked about it but you're only gaining so much progress per day towards just the two projects whereas the way i'm doing it now i slow down the progress for one for those two and I speed up the progress for the other four on their own time frame and then overall I'm putting more points into trials going forward if that makes sense so eventually when I finish off the first two that reach the end when I finish off those two I'm still gonna have four that are at least halfway if not closer to the end so when I finish off those two I'll go back and start two more and maintain six at a time uh, while the other four are farther along and then as they finish their cl close close to there and because progress was sustained for all six at the same time so if that makes any sense uh, that's why I, I do this now imagine doing that for all the projects when you get that much closer to all 15 or whatever there is and you got two that are finished when you finish those two and you start over with two more at the beginning the rest of them are all closer that much closer to the end so then you focus on two more for the the time progress that going overnight because you can only have two going overnight once i'm done with all these six i'll whatever the last two i do as long as they've got as you can see there's two commanders two ships as long as they got two commanders two ships to push overnight then I'll leave it on those two, the last two. I think right now all my projects are full. 
I think, but it's not always the case. It changes out just on based on availability of ships and commanders. So without further ado, let's get to the next set step of this project. I do gotta remind myself, and I think this is the three battleship one. No, it's not. So I got Fuso and Nuremberg tier six. And then I'm gonna go look at Holland real quick. Which I know Ostrogoth's one of them. Ostrogoth and Kansas. And then I think that's tier 8. Tier 8. And usually for tier 8, you'll see me do uh, Johan. I, I did a Johan maiden voyage. I actually like Johan now. Uh, it had a learning curve. And once you get used to Johan. I, I've had a lot more success with Johan inside. And, it, and a lot of people say Johan. But it's actually Johan. Um, it, they have a slight... Spanish pronunciation, even though it's it's uh, um, Pan Asian Netherlands Pan Euro oh Vikings, God. pretty much. <laughs> I can't believe they keep making that mistake. But they, I either I don't know how the history went between the two sieves, but it's pronounced with a Y. I know that. I looked it up uh, from what I've heard, anyway. I don't know for certain. I don't live there. I don't know. In, Never, never been to Netherlands. Haven't spoken to anybody in Netherlands, but I've looked it up a couple times. And from what I've heard, people pronouncing on YouTube, uh, doing the, uh, word pronunciations, have made it sound like it's a, a Y sound, a YJ sound, instead of just J. Anyway, so Ostagot, Kansas, Tier 8, and then for Slyphon was... Um, see, I forgot. I, I should know it, but... I go through so much. Fuso and Nuremberg tier 6. So knowing that, then I'll go and I'll repeat to myself when I get to the actual battles. Go to AI. Start from the very left. I try to look at all of them. So, um, Schleifen has Nuremberg and Fuso. So Fuso's here. And we want tier 6 as well. Kansas is for Holland. Tier 6 is before that, so I'll actually start with Kid. Get those two out of the, get just the uh, Holland Tier 6 out of the way. And then do Kansas, and then do Fuso, and then do uh, Nuremberg. Nuremberg right here. And then the last two will be Ostrogoth and Johan, as you can see, they're right next to each other at the end. I probably have way too many favorites. I probably should go through and after this video I might, but I'll probably go through and filter out some that I'm not using. But all those that I have for favorites, I have for a purpose of one purpose or another. So uh, let's start with the kid. I know I just did a kid battle moments ago, not too long ago. But so just to uh clarify uh this is the battle with kid again that i mentioned earlier uh and you do like i said you do repeat it as you notice i was setting it up so this is for the tier six requirement for slifen um but as i was saying uh earlier i was talking about numbers and whatnot it's really only if you do the math it's only about 12 it's six hundred thousand points in trials if you're able to set up all three trials for two different uh, projects at the same time. If, uh, so being 100 points per trial, and that's just the standard trials. I mentioned before, some trials will actually give you 325 if they're premium, if they're the proper premium ships. So um, basically what I'm saying, it's only 600 extra points per day, as, assuming you have enough trials. Well, that was interesting. Thought I would have had that line with torpedoes, but of course everybody else is trying to fire at right it, so. So doing Schleifen and Holland. We got Kid, Kansas, Fuso. Uh, Nuremberg, Kid, Kansas. Fuso, Nuremberg, Ostrogoth, and Johan. Only because 
um, Holland requires tier 8 and Schleifen requires tier 6. But all my other research also requires tier 6. So there's not really any way to pair up. And that's what I mean by changing things out often. There's not really any way to pair up um, tier 6. Besides where it's at, it's the oddball tier 6. Anyway, off to the Kansas. No fast so forward. to finish explaining that, if you don't redo, if you don't set up new trials every day, if you only stick to the two, you're limiting yourself to only 2 million... 937,600 points uh, and that's counting the 300 points you get daily um, with those trials and that's only assuming you're able to set up all three trials for b uh, both or six trials total for both projects if you're only doing the two plus it's also assuming you have two commanders and two ships researching both projects so, assuming you've got that for any extra projects, you're going to gain pretty much the same points per out per second per minute per hour. Yeah, it was a fun battle. I know I mentioned in the past my newly found skill uh, on battleships, and you got to see it there. Uh, you don't, I discovered at one point in time, and I know that's completely off topic from Beauty Project, but you don't have to focus all guns on one target all the time. Now, if you can get all guns on one target when you're rotating the ship and whatever, and it's the only target in the vicinity, sure, why not? But I've been recently experimenting with, as you noticed, my forward two guns pointing my, my the front of my ship directly at a target, so I'm angled, I'm bound tanking. Uh, makes it harder for them to hit a full salvo on me and then after I fired my first two salvos uh, I look off to the side I can see if there's another target over there that's within range of my rear guns uh, off to the side sure hit them as well that Iowa I wasn't sure I'd get the kill I thought somebody else closer to it would have had it before me but it was there I got my guns on it uh, I managed to locate it and track it and fire and then it went back to the, the, I don't even know who the other battleship that was in front of me. Um, but I went back to him, focusing on him with my main guns. And uh, next thing I know, boom, I got a kill. So uh, it's not a bad tactic. Although I haven't found as much success with that in standard. I have found it to be useful at times. Uh, it just varies standard you've got a lot more difficult players and everybody scatters and has a better strategy our computer pretty much you can predict most of the computer bots are all going to go forward and uh, they're either going to go forward they're going to go straight through the command center of the control points or they're going to go straight for a juicy target like a carrier or a battleship that they can get to so that's what I've been talking about by dividing my ship, but di dividing one ship, and you'll see that later in Johan. I do that a lot with uh, Johan now. Um, when you do that, and your ship's got torpedoes off either side, fresh torpedoes, they're not dual-purpose torpedoes. So I could fire full salvo torpedoes off Johan's broad, uh, um, port side and fire another full salvo off starboard side. And uh, if you do that, I can focus on two tar two different targets with just torpedoes, two more targets with main guns, possibly two more targets with secondaries. And uh, I can t I've can i managed in the past on AI up to six targets, dividing them, just like you saw me do there with Kansas. Anyway, um, that's Kansas, trial project, moving forward. We got the Fuso. Fuso, I can kind of do the same, but it's a little bit harder, and I'll show you why. Fuso's got six turrets. So Fuso's got the same exact amount of guns that Kansas has, except Kansas got four turrets with three guns each, 12 guns. Where Fuso's got six turrets, two guns each, 12 guns. Guns being barrels. Fuso manages their targets to clarify. Now, if I can get one target on the forward three gun turrets, fine. But angling for those three is proven to be a little bit more difficult. And then I can do the same possibly for the rear. But there have been, I think once maybe I fired on three different targets with main guns. Kind of. Well, no. It's harder because 
try to get the middle target, your rear guns are gonna go after it anyways. So to finish what I was saying, hopefully I can get it done. Um, if you, I, if you've got all the research, all the commanders, and all the ships for each trial for six different projects at any given time, you can do at least two million nine hundred thirty-seven thousand six hundred. Uh, no, I'm missing a number there. Add twelve hundred. <laughs> about three million you do about three million so it's only about 1200 more if you're doing six over two but still it's more research and you're progressing more um, that's per day but you're progressing more projects over the course of six different projects at a time so when you finish the two that you get furthest along like me I'm, I'm Yeah, I tried, as you can tell. It's not as easy to manipulate two forward turrets to one target, two rear turrets to the other. Part of the issue is Fuso has a very slow turn rate, as I, I forgot to mention. Uh, it was very obvious when I could not man manipulate my rear guns fast enough. And uh, my forward guns were almost fully reloaded by the time I was ready to fire my rear guns at a separate target. So it's definitely, it's definitely a different take on multi-purposing your battleship. But um, I did get the one kill uh, on that one battleship. That was a class example. Uh, felt like the uh, sail ages of battleships, full broadside, ship of the lines. You know, you line up and you both fire at each other and then you try to board each other. To me, it looked like it was that for that one moment when I got the kill. Uh, so I've always loved it seeing those when it gets that close and you, and you get the kill but at the same time when you get that close and you you're the one killed it's very frustrating because you're like what could have I done better <laughs> anyway so Fuso and then I think next was Nuremberg and then close this out with Ostergott and then um, uh, Johan Johan Anyway, I think you guys get the point now, right? More projects, more points per day. Pretty much is the gist of it. Just managing these ships as much as you can throughout uh, the projects. Stack the rewards if you can. Put them, put multiple projects, multiple requirements on the same two projects at a time if you're able to. And uh, makes it that much easier. And the reason why I do AI, because you do, it is a lot easier to get wins on AI. There have been plenty of times where I've lost and the team lost, so it isn't that, frust that much more frustrating. But uh, it's a lot easier getting wins on AI than it is getting wins on uh, standard. I was talking earlier. The reason why I do standard is because if I'm trying to stack or um, make multiple use out of multiple um, objectives while also trying to accomplish the trials. Sometimes I try to do that as well for missions and, and the campaign and stuff like that. It's possible if you time it right, basically. Anyway the next oh <laughs> I wanted to catch that recording always a fun battle when you seem to be the only one getting kills especially on AI uh, I was at the top but I wasn't the only one got a couple single sh kills and one other would double and then I had four kills but that was a good battle a couple destroyers and killed a cruise and killed a battleship couple more battles and then uh, we'll finish this second stage of my trials or my booter projects
again I'm just going for over all six to show you guys the time it took me to get through them all and I'm not going to record all this in long length and everything in between but I will point out at the end how long all this play took me and uh, you'll see the difference on average it's about two hours of course it's going to take more when you lose battles you have to go back and repeat those battles and that's why I try to focus only AI when I'm doing trials every now and then I'll still like I mentioned earlier I'll try to do standard battles if I'm confident enough in the win and if it's necessary to accomplish as other I was just objectives about. like missions and stuff like that so here in Ostrogoth this is always a fun one um, I think I was kind of aggressive in this match but I think I do get a kill but after this match will be the Johan and that was a fun match it was a very very fun battle but um what else to talk about mixing up all these trials if you don't have specific requirements then that slows you down uh, that should be a given just wanted to point it out and I think I mentioned earlier but when you're setting up trials set up one at a time even though you're changing both change one set the first one that that you changed and then change the second one and the reason why is because if you change both before you set one of them up then you have both of them doing nothing for whatever minutes it takes before you set them both up so if you set one up you choose one you set it up and you choose the second one some of you might say I was too aggressive but the Ostrogoth land uh, just to properly pronunciate it the Ostrogoth land is a special kind of a ship and uh, I mentioned that in my preview of it on my maiden voyage video that I did uh, but yeah it is a special kind of ship uh, you don't have smoke you don't have a speed boost oh you do have a speed boost you don't have smoke um, but even with speed boost you only get two of them uh, you don't have very many escape options. It's meant a two second reload on the main guns and like 30 second reload on the torpedo base. I think it's 30 or 40 second. I think it, I built it down to 30 with the commander build. Um, but the Ostrogotland is made for close quarter battles with other destroyers, is my opinion on the Ostrogot. Uh, it's hard to get into a fight and remain undetected and it's hard not to get into a fight because you have you have no purpose but get up there and fight so if you stay back like a lot of destroyers do you're not going to be involved in the fight and even though I didn't get any destroyers there I'd hit plenty of targets and helped influence that battle to an extent so uh, it's always a fun battle with Ostrogoth can be very frustrating at times but let's move on to the last one for this stage of or this step of my to clarify project. I did not do a maiden voyage I do have the recording for it I just didn't get it done I guess at the time when I was recording this particular video I thought I'd already done it but I'd already double checked made sure after I heard that I s heard myself say that I don't have an Ostrogoth maiden but I, I would like to get one, that one out hopefully soon uh, I am going through a lot of uh, personal struggles I'm trying to balance getting my videos done still because I'm trying to make sure that I'm committed to doing these so um, I am going to leave some links down below this will be a first for me I'm gonna set up PayPal as well as GoFundMe and uh, just about every YouTube out there does it so it shouldn't be anything new to you guys uh, I just was trying to make sure I was a little more established before I started asking I know people not everybody's willing to have money but if anybody out there is willing to help me out, I would definitely appreciate it. I'm kind of in a financial bind, and I'm hoping that I will be able to survive and pull myself through. But if not, there might be a big pause in me making videos. So I just wanted to explain um, before this video was over that hopefully uh, I will have a GoFundMe, and, and maybe some of you out there are true fans and you want to surprise me. Uh, if you want to just buy me a couple drinks, if you want to buy me a, a cheeseburger or something, you put that in. If you, some of you want to help out and, and put in a, a lot more than that to, and you help me with rent or whatever, that's definitely much, much appreciated. So uh, I'm going to put that in the 
clip down below um, and uh, once I have that set up so that should be attached in the description as I mentioned this is the Johan and you saw me dividing my ship and it's a very fun ship and uh, you saw me using torpedoes and secondaries and main guns and trying to manage both but for the most part the, sh the main part of the battle is over it takes me about 30 seconds trying to track this one ship down but somebody else got it before I could so after this will be the last setup the setup of the last two last pair of projects and then it'll be three more battles and we'll conclude the video with some final thoughts what I tell you Johan's just a fun ship you saw me use a little bit of dividing my turrets between multiple targets I was in the thick of thin at one point with like four different ships dropping torpedoes one side firing cannons another locking secondaries on another that's Johan in, at its finest but again it's the AI so can't say much about it but if you look right there 184 secondary hits um I only got one kill got five fires out of that I captured a base you don't cap I mean I've been seeing battleships capture bases but I haven't captured many bases with a battleship but I've been starting to get a little bit better with just battleship playing as a whole just because I've been playing Johan um, and, and trying to divide my ship you know, knowing that I don't have to fire all guns on one target now there was a couple times where I did fire all guns on one target towards the end of that one battleship off to the edge was just me one-on-one -on -one. once everybody else was cleared out of the way uh, I think I got that kill or, or I think uh, I had the last shot as I fired somebody else got the kill I think I'm not sure who it was and then there was a cruiser Belfast I think uh, mid game before chasing that last uh, battleship uh, there was a cruiser mid towards in the game uh, I managed to fire off all my turrets at one at the cruiser by himself. I, I had a mountain in my way. I was going to try to divide at one point. You saw me looking back and forth. Um, of course, everything was fast mode. But, uh, I was going to try to divide, but he was just behind a mountain, and I didn't want to wait to see if I was going to get the trajectory. I was like, I've got all four guns I can get on this guy, so I did just go for that one. But all in all, it works out and it's just a, a more aggressive battleship play style that I'm used to but I've been getting used to now and, and I'm hoping that I don't know if many people play that way with battleships but because of that I've heard a lot I've, I've heard of a lot of people downsize or give negative comments with Johan but because of that play style and me trying to adapt to that I actually find Johan one of my top favorite ships. Uh, it's one of my top five. Uh, but I'll get into that another day. Uh, so that's the second uh, step stage of the trial beers. So I'm going to go in and... Oh, I hit the store. I don't want the store. So I started the next recording. I only get an hour recording at one time. Um, I had to pause the video there and start a new recording. But again, I'm going to put all this together. Um, this will be the third pair. So I'm just going to quickly show that, as I mentioned before, uh, all three trials are done. I'm still getting 15 or no 17 uh, points per second. But as we trade it out, it's going to be the same amount of points going to another project, possibly. Again, 17 points per second. All the trials are done. Last time I think it was doing Midway and Minotaur, yep. So the last pair will be 52 in Alaska. So go in, replace it. Now, I think I mentioned it before, but if you're doing this like I am, don't go replace both of them and have two empty projects with no research going at once because then you still have to set those up. 
notice just now I started 52, now I'm going to set up 52 while Schleifen, I think, is still in research. So I'm not wasting the amount of time spent. Uh, of course, I'm not I'm wasting time talking to you about it. But go in, get the first one that you started to replace the, one of the others. Get the first one you started set up and then go set up and start the second one and set that up. And then that way in the amount of time that you're setting the first one up, Schleifen's researching still. And the amount of time you're replacing Schleifen, which will be Alaska. So when I'm setting up Alaska, um, Howland is, is a, uh, 52 is already researching, if that makes sense. So we've got 52 set up now. Now I'm going to go uh, start Alaska replacing Schleifen. Now always be careful of selecting that. There have been times where I'm trying to do it in a fast hurry. Not paying attention, I accidentally replace the one I just set up. An example of what I'm talking about, like if that, if I did that right now, I would have replaced 52 with Alaska. I've done that before by accident. Don't don't do that. You gotta. I mean, I know people are in a hurry for whatever reason. They want to get through things. They want to speed through things. They want to get set up faster, get done faster. But if you're in a hurry, make sure you're paying attention. Don't rush setting these up because you'll accidentally it doesn't ask you are you sure you this is what you want to start if you say that you're going to replace it that's what it, it takes you for it i have matsu oh i know i had matsu but it's not any different i think i mentioned this before if you use these premiums double check that they are extra points if they're not there's no point in wasting an extra second or two or extra clicks to get over there uh, i did just now demonstrating but uh, I just always go for the first two unless I have the premium, which I do this time, but if the premium provides bonus points. If it provides bonus points, I'll go after. If it doesn't provide bonus, like uh, previous, uh, at the beginning of uh, m the maiden ship, or no, midway ship, at the beginning of the midway ship, uh, Arizona was one of the requirements. And Arizona has bonus points, so that's an example of when you might pay attention to what you're choosing. But uh, so here we've got three battleships, and that's all it is. New Mexico, Bayern, Tier 6. See if anybody notices the stack. I mentioned this before. This is if you can get at least one stack out of two pairs like this, this is what you look for. So last one was New Mexico, Bayern. This one's Bayern Tier 6. I don't have Guapard right now, so I can't count that. I selected it in case I get it. I don't think I have the money yet. Um, I might. We'll, we'll look at the end. And then if I do have it, then I'll do that one as well. But at the moment, I'm only doing Bayern, New Mexico, and Tier 6. Tier 6 could be possibly Nelson, or it could be a Kid. It'll probably be a Kid. But Bayern, New Mexico, and Tier 6. And Tier 6 will handle both. Bayern will be able to handle both. So that's stacking at its finest. So if you ever have ships that can share between two, rearrange your routine. And your routine will often change. The next segment won't have those same. The next segment might stack with a different pair. But what I'll do is I'll go to the very beginning of my favorites. New Mexico will be first. Kid will be second. Bayern will be third. Three battles will handle all those requirements. And then I'll go look and see what it takes for Guapard, which I think comes off of Jaguar. So, yeah, I just double explained. I know I, I mentioned it earlier in the video. I went ahead and explained it anyway, and I guess I kind of forgot that I did that. Um, the other tip that uh, I was going to suggest is... Um, like I said, just making sure that you stack. You can stack. Sometimes you can stack ships on what, like, sometimes I'll have a tier six requirement, and then I'll have another ship like main, uh, man, not man, mass, that's tier six. And so mass will accomplish requirement for, say, uh, Schleifen, and then I'll have two, um, I'll have two different tier six requirements earlier uh, when before my trials were requiring tier seven they were requiring tier six instead 
and uh, that was I was stacking up 300 plus points in one battle. That's another example. Um, it wasn't as effective or as fun as the Johan, but you did see me divide a couple times. Um, at the same time, dividing your guns, you're also maneuvering your ship to help evade more uh, incoming fire. So you'll see me constantly moving in and out of focus because I'm trying to keep track of where my ship is going and where my guns are actually aiming and the trajectory of my ship compared to where the targets are. So that's kind of how I keep track of what's going on with my guns as well when I'm dividing them. Um, but if you notice, the tr a trick that I do when I do that is uh, I lock my guns off to the bow. There, a majority of the time, if you look back, I locked my guns to the starboard side, which is the right side of the ship, uh, about five degrees off the bow, which is the front tip of the ship. So I literally was facing front, just leaning slightly right. Of course, the rear guns aren't going to lean that far, so they'll go as far to the right as possible. And then I knew my target was going to be to the left when I was ready to fire at them with the front target, with the front turret. I unlock the turret, I look left, I find my target. By the time I find the target, uh, close in on the view and then fire. My right gun is almost about midship. So I look to the right and it's already pointing at the target off to the starboard side, 16 or 18 kilometers if it, or whatever the distance was. If you noticed when my guns were locked at uh, a couple times, I looked out to the distance. I checked the distance of those targets. There was one that was an Aoba, I believe, off to the right, far right side. I, I looked a couple different times. He was 18.5, 18.1, one, and then 17.5 when I looked at him a third time. So I knew that he would be within target of my rear guns because uh, my range is 17.5. So uh, that's just an example of, of again, uh, expanding my uh, dividing multiple ships, multiple targets. Oh, I'm going to go kid now. And it's funny because the way I've learned and I've practiced all these ships, it is a very different play style between battleships, destroyers, and cruisers. I haven't played many cruisers recently, but uh, there were a lot of cruiser play the early trials or stages of these projects that I'm working on. It's just the stages go through different, like they're researching how cruisers work and they're researching how destroyers work. Cruisers need to know how destroyers work so that cruisers can target them better or whatever. You know, battleships need to know how cruisers work so battleships can hit them harder or whatever. So it'll be a battleship project, but you'll be like, why am I researching destroyers or cruisers? It's for that reason. It's, it's as if the battleship designers are trying to figure out how to counter cruisers and destroyers. Anyway, going into this battle with Kit, go ahead and fast forward. I definitely talk a little bit more than I probably should sometimes. And uh, in my ears, I think I forgot to turn the volume down on this one. It's kind of loud. I apologize. I hear it too. If you're hearing it, I'm hearing it. If you're not hearing it, it's probably not coming through as much. I'll have to remember that. I still got to add this voiceover to the final edit. This is the third battle of Kid I did. As far as cruisers, I, was, I mentioned I didn't have any. I did have one cruiser. I'm pretty sure I only had the one, it was Nuremberg, mid video of this video, I was doing a Nuremberg, so there are, was one cruiser, I just don't do a lot of cruisers. Kid is always a, go, a fun gunboat, Kid is definitely a gunboat, I think it's, I have it down to 6 it's actually 8 or 10, but I'm doing obviously 5 shots. Is. Uh, I so. can't remember who is inspired, but this isn't about kids, so I'm not going to check on that right now. But kid is definitely a fun, um, but they definitely, it seems like they nerfed it, I don't know. I haven't had as much success in the last six months to a year with kid that I used to have when I first got it. So, 
This is why I always start on the left and work right. myself what I'm doing. So 52 in Alaska, 52 is the one with Bayern, tier 6. Alaska is New Mexico and Bayern, tier 6. Okay, so next one is Bayern. Got New Mexico and tier 6 out of the way. Bayern is right here. Then after this one, I will go check, see how far along I am from completing or getting Guapard. And if I get Guapard, I will also do that one. But this could be the last battle. I did and not get I'll wrap Guapard. up my video on the current progress for a beer project. But if you stick around, I'll have a few final thoughts. Um, as far as overall... I try to get on every single day, but it's not every 24 hours. Sometimes I'll, like for me, the reset happens at midnight. So whatever time the reset happens for you, I don't know if it's always at midnight for everybody. I, I think it's the same time around the world for everybody, but everybody's time zone is different. So it's not always midnight. But for me, it's at midnight for, for my reset. So uh, Sometimes I'll get on by 10 o'clock and I'll do the two hours and I'll get all my trials done. And then I'll stay on till about 2 o'clock in the morning and redo all the trials so I can get all, I, I can repeat the trials all at once within four hours for two days. And then I won't get on for another 48 hours. Sometimes. It's not always like that. That was ugly. Uh, and whatever tactic you use, whatever strategy you use, make sure you at least know your ships. I totally know Renown has torpedoes. I just didn't pay attention to what battleship was ahead of me. Uh, I was, again, I, that was an example of I'm so focused on trying to learn and improve myself with this particular skill that I've been adjusting to that I was so focused on, oh yeah, I've got to make sure I've got my right targets and, and the distances and can I reach that? And obviously I went too far when I was going sideways and whatnot. So all that was running through my head. So when I was lining up to face these targets, I just fired and looked off to the distance, didn't pay attention. Um, I'm glad I didn't die. I came very close. <laughs> So that was, that's just an example of whatever you do, just pay attention to who your targets are. Uh, still is a good example of dividing my ships. It just was a really bad example of it in practical play. Um, I should have at the beginning focused on just focusing my four turrets, the ships ahead of me. And then later on when I had better aim, or I shouldn't have gone so far out of the way. I, I went so far out of the way, but... Uh, enough about all that so Bayern finishes it that's it for the Biru except if I can get Guapard Guapard is off of Jaguar that's why he's listed as my favorite I just haven't been having doing anything with him he's tier 5 it should be no more than 5,000 how much money do I have? Five million. Oh my god, I can't believe I made mistakes sometimes and get out of my way. Obviously, I probably should script more. I could afford it. I just didn't because I'm saving 4. up for 2. other ships. I forget what it is. I still haven't gotten it. I think I'm it's not sure what it is offhand. I can't remember how much it's going to cost. Uh... I might get Guapard for the next trial when I do this ship, but for the moment, I think I'm going to avoid it. So, back to the trial, wrap up my notes. Got a few boxes I want to go see what those are. I started with Schleifen, Schleifen and Holland. Oh no, I started with Midway, Midway and Minotaur. So, even though those are no longer being researched, I am researching 52 and Alaska. Now, I could go back to Midway and Minotaur. I might, or Holland. Either way, it doesn't matter really which ones you focus on. Holland's close to the end. I am 
on segment uh what's this i didn't count it but one two three four five six seven eight i'm on eight and i've got one two three four four more nine ten eleven twelve yep so i've got four more to go on holland i think that's the farthest along progress i've got but i don't usually pair them on mutual progress i pair them on common ships that can be stacked for trials currently bayern is on like three or four different ones so bayern has been the focus and if i keep those within at least two two pairs then that's even better two different pairs get a bonus double bonus off Bayern I don't know if it's three or four but um, I think I might change it and put it back on midway so a lot of times what I do is whatever I'm trying to focus on the most but again it doesn't matter I at least make sure who I, oh no I don't want to put it on this one So here, I'll set it up and I'll show you an example of why I don't want to put on this one. Because it's on 5 of 5 right now. Once the segment is completed, um, you're wasting research points because it will automatically jump over to the next segment and you won't have it set up. So I've got the time set up and looking down below 9 hours and 54 minutes. I might be able to get back on tonight when it resets at midnight, but I don't know if I will. So if I'm not on when this concludes, then it's just going to waste potential time that could be researching. So in my mind, that's wasting research. So I'm not going to do midway. Anytime I do any, when I set up any project, I'll look through and see this one's at 5 of 5, but 20 hours and 40 minutes. I'm pretty sure I'll be back on in 20 hours and 40 minutes. I'm pretty sure I will be back on and, and continue this the next segment and the next day once it's reset and do the trials again. So I'm actually going to go back to Holland to replace, or 52 to replace Midway. Uh, I guess I just wanted to show that as an example of when not to choose them. Oh, um, I have to activate it, which I just activated from within, and I don't like to. Oh, it didn't go to the beginning. It's done that in the past, I don't know why. So, can't do the others right now because I've already completed them I don't think it'll let me uh, but they at least the time research is set up so this one's 405 so it won't even finish this segment in, f in 24 hours so the other segment segment 5 will take at least 24 hours so I know that's safe for the next 24 hours and this one should be safe just know that I have to be on at least within 20 hours and I will I will likely at least be on for this one so that's another example of making sure that you've got proper time as far as time goes I think each segment takes 20 it takes a day and a half I think if everything's full as I mentioned it's it does slow down the research that you're doing but at the same time you're putting more research out for more projects at once so in the long run you're actually speeding things up it just doesn't feel like it because let's say I do focus on just 52 in Alaska until it's completed or Alaska and Holland because Holland's so close Holland and another one that's really close which I don't, I don't think anyone's as close as Holland. I think Alaska might be, be behind Holland by... Let's double check. We know Holland is four away. Alaska is 
six away. So in comparison to Holland, this is where Holland is at. And this is where Alaska's at. Um, so let's say I get Alaska and Holland done, the next two. By the time I get them done, I, the time it took me to go through all this, I'm going to have at least probably Schleifen will move up to Schleifen's here. Schleifen will probably move up to here or here. Midway is, um, let's go look at them real quick. I know Schleifen's on the third. I don't need to look at that one. Midway's on the fourth. So in that amount of time, by the time I get Holland and Alaska done, if I was to only focus on those two, uh, Holland and Alaska, by the time I get them done, um, Midway will probably be close to here. Midway will speed through it because I've gotten Ranger and I've got a Tier 7 cruiser or car uh, carrier. So I'll be able to speed through those two requirements. So I'll probably get up to about right here by the time those two are done. So when I'm focusing on just these two after Alaska and Holland, I've only got this far to go. So then these two, even though I'm stalling the research now, I'm going to get much farther along the way doing all of them. And then when I'm ready to conclude these two, it won't take long to conclude Midway or um, I haven't looked at Minotaur yet. But just an example, like I said, Schleifen's three. So by the time Holland, the requirement for Schleifen, I think I have, I do not have Heinrich, but I'm not far from it. I'll have Heinrich by the time I get to this one. Um, I will make sure I get the Heinrich. That's why I'm skeptical whether or not I want to do Guapro because I don't know how long it will take me to build up to get Heinrich. Heinrich is, double check, Tier 7, I believe. Oh, it didn't tell me. I think it's Tier 7. I can't remember. Um, but I'm pretty sure I get past Heinrich to probably here. So I've made... Uh, Midway is here, Schleifen's here. Uh, I could do these two next, uh, depending on when they line up. Or, you know, where 52 is at. 52 is kind of at the beginning as well. So 52 and Schleifen are actually kind of paced together. So 52 will probably pass here. I think this one's mass. I need mass for this one, which I have. I don't know if I have this next one. 23 I believe yeah I don't have 23 at the moment but I'll get that uh, by the time I get to it so again just keeping aware of what's ahead of you and making sure you've got those ships when you reach that and then um, the last but not least seeing how far Minotaur is if I continue to pace myself doing all six every day like I've been doing uh, actually made Minotaur is not that far behind Holland Minotaur and Alaska are almost at pace to each other. And in fact, they were at one point. But once they had new segments to do, the requirements changed. I haven't been pairing Minotaur and Alaska. But in the beginning, Minotaur and Alaska were paired for like the first three segments. But in the next few months, by the time I finish Holland and Alaska, if those are the only two I focus on, and I do the rest of these just for the trials, but then I put Holland and Alaska back on for the day over time for the next 24 hours. I'll probably get here or here with Minotaur. So again, it's only this far before I, I have to complete it. So that's why I'm managing six compared to just managing two. But uh, as I've mentioned before, it is a setback. Every time you change it, you have to go through and set up each segment. Don't forget to set up. Don't assume just because you swapped it out and you've been researching it already that when you swap out new ones, it's going to keep those. Uh, if you had the time and effort and you wanted to put extra work in, you can do, let's count it, one, two, oh no, hold on. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 double, so there's 20 research here. This was forward, down, and forward, which midway was down and forward with Schleifen. So there's 20 projects here that I could do right now. If I was managing all 20, it would probably take me 45 hours a day, 
for one, doing all the trials, two, setting up all the tri all the trials in between. Um, it would just be a lot of effort to do all these. And I'm not even interested in, uh, in all the ships. Some of them I will. I will eventually get to most of these. But there are a few that I don't care for. Um, but just pointing out that it slows it down, kind of. But at the same time, it speeds it up for all of them. And in the end, you're going to get them done faster. Because you're still putting more research in every day's effort. So with that said, uh, thanks again for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. This is Daddy Dman81 on YouTube. Just doing a video today on Bureau Projects and the progress. Hopefully the next time I do a progress on my Bureau Projects will be a couple of months and I'll be really close to a couple of these. Probably Holland and Holland and Minotaur and Holland and maybe um, Alaska or something. We'll see. Like, subscribe, follow for more content. Try to get out a video once a week. I'm going to start trying to increase that. Uh, I do plan on making um, efforts to become content creator, community contributor with uh, World of Warships. So um, if I was to accomplish that, I need at least one World of Warships every week. So uh, I hope to get start getting increasing that. Uh, if you're interested... Or if you know anybody would be interested in possibly working as a video editor, I'd definitely be interested in talking to people about video editing. Uh, I would share my videos with them directly. They would put my videos out for me. They'd get a cut of what I make uh, off the videos. I'm waiting until I actually make money specifically from YouTube. And I'm trying to put into works to get some sponsors. So hopefully uh, within the next couple of months, I'll be talking about sponsorships and projects that I'd be possibly sponsoring. Uh, I'm not sure who yet at the time, but uh, if you know anybody along those lines, go ahead and contact me below. Uh, f again, like, subscribe, follow for more content. Have a good day. And if anybody, and I just barely quit the recording on my Xbox, but if anybody wanted to know, it is currently 2 hours, 30 minutes, and 42 seconds on my audio recording. Uh, that was recording all the way through since when I started. So that was enough play for two and a half hours. But half of that I was talking to you guys in between those battles. Usually it's under two hours to do all my trials. And that's kind of what I wanted to point that out. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy and grace upon my life. I pray all those who see this reach out to you one day. Thank you to the game developers of these games and more for the products you make. Keep up the good work. Last but certainly not least, thank you to all my fans, friends, and followers for stepping in, sticking around, and checking out these games with me. God bless.